There's a lot of moving parts to making a film of this magnitude. You miss one deadline, pushes another deadline out. We were working double shifts, throwing everything we had at this movie. I've done some films where you had to do a lot of post-production, but this one was like, am I ever gonna get this thing done? There's a lot more hard work that goes into this than people see, but that's the magic of movie making. Color in film comes down to the emotion and the feeling that you're trying to portray to the viewer. There's a feeling of nostalgia, and it's just this little kid on a snow machine out there, and it's his dream of someday becoming a superstar, doing this for a living. Bring it over for Corey Davis! That's a big trick right there. Look at that turn. That was awesome. It is really fun to watch him. Great solid night there for Corey Davis. Once you develop that look, when we go to Corey in the X Games, and he starts to talk about all the things that are going through his head and everything that's led up to this point, the color becomes part of the story. Yeah, we make it look like that because that's the way we feel. So there's multiple feelings and messages that we're trying to get across. And they're talking about this lifestyle that outsiders perceive about them, which is big and it's brash. We definitely used color to achieve those emotions. Sound design was something very important to us. You kind of take the points you want to accentuate and really like drive them home with the audio. Sound is a really interesting and unique way to transition between moments. Even if someone's not watching something visually transition, the audio can carry someone across. This is from Alaska to the local. had a rough idea of what the Avi segment was going to be like. And it was long and it was deep and it was heavy. I could only like visit it every now and then. If you're sitting here at night, you're listening to it, you're feeling all that emotion. I mean, it definitely tugs at your own heart. And it was one of the more difficult edits you had to do because you're talking about, you know, people's lives. I didn't want to just tell the story of all the emotion and just leave people hanging on that. The segment following it with the avalanche course and letting people know that there's training out there and there are things you can do to make yourself safer in the backcountry, that I felt helped me to create that segment and feel good about telling the story. Were there any long nights uh, <laughs> up to the deadline? Were there any long nights? Uh, no, there wasn't nights, yeah. Actually, no, I was able to work right. banker hours. The, the amazing thing about our film is it actually came out of the cameras already edited. Lay the edit on a timeline and then made put it on a DVD or Blu-ray. Done. Done. Went 36 hours straight, took a day off, and then came back and did another 24. At the end of the 36 hour stint, we were trying to do sound design. We were so tired, we didn't even trust our ears. We were literally sitting there like, did you hear that? And the other person would be like, wait, no, what? The push down of the wire to get this thing done was just unreal. You know, after it was done, it was like a, you know, a sigh of relief, but you know, even then there was still a lot of work to get done. And we have to get ready to premiere it to the world because that's the ultimate, is letting everybody see it all these hours and days and months of years of hard work, now was gonna pay off. We didn't want it to just be your average everyday premiere. We wanted to put a lot of time and effort into it, so we made sure that the after party and the premiere itself were gonna be something that no one would ever forget. Yeah.